Martin Luther was a German monk who was the leading catalyst in the outbreak and spreading of the Protestant Reformation. Many of the Protestant faiths that exist today are a direct result of the Reformation movement and the challenges Martin Luther made against the Catholic Church. The main disagreement Luther had with the Catholic Church was the existence of indulgences, which were being issued by the Church as a means of collecting funds to construct St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. Luther realized that nowhere in scripture or Jesus' teachings did anyone mention the role of indulgences, and he knew that the church was taking advantage of the ignorance of the everyday people in order to obtain money. He expressed his displeasure through the publishing of his 95 Theses. This outlined all of Luther's disagreements with the church, and he posted them on the doors of the Wittenberg Cathedral for all to see. Luther experienced great pressure from the church because of his outspokenness. In an attempt to keep him quiet, Pope Leo X offered him a place as a cardinal, which Luther famously rejected through the burning of the papal bull. Once it was evident that Luther was not going to respond to promotions, Holy Roman Emperor Charles V called Luther to the Diet of Worms in order for him to publicly recant his blasphemous statements. over things that you are obligated to believe. Now give your answer. Yes or no. Will you recant or will you not? Since your majesty and your lordships desire a simple reply, I will answer. Unless I am convinced by scripture and by plain reason, and not by popes and councils who have so often contradicted themselves, my conscience is captive to the word of God. To go against conscience is neither right nor safe. I cannot. And I will not. Recant. Here I stand. I can do no other. God help me. Martin Luther, despite facing tremendous adversity, was truly the face of the Reformation, and was a contributor to progressive thought leading into the Enlightenment. From standing up to the Church, to translating the New Testament, Luther was the living embodiment of everything we know as the Reformation. <laughs>